Welcome everybody, Selman in this video. I'm going to be talking about the intro cutscene to Shell and Shovel and just talk about all the storyline things we could get through that because it is very interesting and really, I'm just really dumbfounded with this thing because I have no idea what most of the stuff is actually saying inside this. And of course, it's really, really interesting, but just doesn't make that much sense to me at all. Of course, if you guys can make sense of any of this stuff, go ahead and tell me down in the comments. But anyways, let's actually get into this breakdown or whatever it is. So of course, we get the normal thing like we got inside the Raven and the Redwoods intro, of course, previously on Zombies and it just shows a thing cut straight from Raven the Red Rose intro cutscene. So that's just that and, and I don't think really it's really that important. Anyways, after that we see our characters defeat the slasher or that we believe to be Kevin Smith. And one thing that is very interesting is how when we defeat him, it looks like he's falling into hell. I don't know if that's only me, but the, crown, the ground kind of cracks up and there's fire coming out and he sinks into there. And of course, after that, he just disappears. So it kind of looks like he's falling to hell and I don't know if that's important or not because all we really have for really super supernatural things and having to do with demons and all that stuff is besides the fate and fortune cards all we have is the name of Thothsies or however that word said but besides that we really don't have that much about it so it's interesting to see this I'm not too sure if they're still playing off of that or it's just something completely different but after that we see something that I honestly am at a loss for I really don't know what they're trying to do here because we see Poindexter pick up this this seemingly soul key I think they're trying to say it's a soul key but I find this hard to believe because the soul key looks completely different from what we saw inside the ending cutscene to Raven the Redwoods and I have no idea why they'd be doing this and on top of that it gets even more weird because this is nothing like the ending cutscene to Raven the Redwoods because the ending cutscene to Raven the Redwoods had Andre picking up the soul key and of course it looks completely different but now we have Point Dexter picking it up and it looks completely different and another thing to note I guess is that now our characters are holding guns which they didn't inside the original either but I have no idea why they're doing this I really can't think of a real reason like you have they have had to do this on purpose they had to purposely reanimate all this stuff just to make this scene and why they did it I have no idea why because we already know that they could have done that and they did it before inside this because they cut the starting part to previously on zombies in space on they cut that straight from Raven the Redwoods intro so why wouldn't they do that here I just really don't know why they didn't do it I don't know if they're trying to imply something through the storyline or not I'm just really at a loss but anyways any ideas for that down in the comments because we have one last interesting things and I really have no idea what to think about it and it just comes out just for a really short time but it just has Willer Wyler laughing after we leave Raven the Redwoods now this is very very weird because last time we saw Willer Wyler's reaction to us beating one of his movies he was all upset remember to Raven the Redwoods intro he was pretty upset after that but why is he laughing now I'm not too sure if he's just going crazy he says I can't believe they did and just kind of that laugh or what exactly they're going for here it's just something interesting I really don't know what to think to say about it and after that we get into all the shell and shuffle stuff now the rest of it is mainly face value but I want to point out a couple things that people may have noticed or may have not noticed inside this and is this magazine right here and of course talking about all the McIntosh investigation all that stuff that's mainly what this is all about about the story of McIntosh going in and stealing a bunch of money from his own company and then of course causing his crash uh, the stock wanted to crash and all that good stuff which we already knew because of all the stuff Lee Ross gave us forever ago so I'm not really going to spend too much time talking about that but I'll just point out a couple things every now and then that I find interesting interesting and for the first one and it is pretty darn interesting and it's on this first magazine right here and of course it's hard to talk about the rats taking over which we could already tell from what's happening inside challenge shuffle but the main thing I want to point out is what is said under that and it says what's next after landing on the moon and of course I'm pretty sure that's just talking about what happened in the 70s because that's, that's when the moon landing was and everything but I'm not too sure if it's important or not but maybe it is maybe it isn't but then it gets even more interesting because it says a 400 million dollar theme park to open in October which is very interesting because they could be talking about zombies in space line here and that'd be really really cool because then it would actually connect the universes to each other so that would mean zombies in space line is connected to shell and shuffle which would be really weird and I don't know why they would do it but it'd be really cool nonetheless because we have to remember that this is taking place in some time in the 70s and zombies in space line took place in the 80s so if it is just opening in the 70s then it'd be perfectly fine if it's still open inside the 80s because it was built inside the 70s and just has kept running ever since then it's inside the 80s which would be really cool like but I really don't know why they do it I it's just really weird but I really like what they're doing but we'll have to see what happens after that now one thing I don't think too many people notice is that when we're actually brushing over these the, the lighting kind of changes things on the tables move around the candle turns off and all that stuff things get outlined but I don't really think it's that important what I really think it is is just trying to symbolize that time is passing and these stories are coming out at different points in time that's all I think it really 
really is. So I can't really say if it is something important or not though. It just doesn't seem like it to me. And like I said, it's just a story of McIntosh and just going ahead and getting his company screwed over and him running away from the law. Convicted guilty and of course we see the rest of the story after that he escapes from the police and of course goes inside this tunnel that we see right here. Drinks a potion or whatever it is. Has a number 13 on that. Of course not too sure if that's important or not but well I'll just point out anyways. Goes drinks it. The rats get on him. He sounds crazy and just a beautiful story after that. But anyways that's about it for this video. If I did miss anything you guys think is important go ahead and tell me down in the comments. If you, but if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and thumbs up. If you guys want to stay tuned for content similar to this go ahead and subscribe. But I'm going to go and I will catch you guys on my next video.